This is tutorial number 21, and it covers how to use the draft feature within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a part file. Let's click File, and let's open up the draft part, which I've included on the DVD. Now, the part for the draft, all we have is a cube, and what we're going to do is we're going to draft some of the edges away at an angle, and the part is going to extrude out through that angle. So to start off, let's find the draft feature. Click it, and you're able to do two different drafts. You can do it from an edge, or you can do it from a plane. And we're going to do both, so first let's do an edge draft. So what you have to do first is you have to choose the direction, or the edge. So we can choose this edge, and you can see the yellow dotted lines going along it. That edge, that edge, it doesn't matter, you can choose any edge. So for this one, let's choose this edge here. And then you have to choose a face to pull against. So we'll choose this face here. And then you're able to change the angle or how much it's going to draft out. If you do 2.5 degrees, it's only going to come out 2.5 degrees from this corner here. So it's going to be a little bit. Now let's change this to 30. And it's going to draft 30 degrees out along that corner. Click OK. And you can see, if we go to the top a little bit, that it drafted out 30 degrees. So pretty much we made that triangle there off of the square. Now let's do another one. Let's move it to this side. Let's click the draft. We'll do the same one, the edge draft. So first let's click this line here. We'll click this face here. And for the angle this time let's make it bigger. Let's make it 60. Click OK. And if we go to the top, we can see that again we made this triangle from drafting it and we made it 60 degrees coming out. Now let's try the face draft. So let's rotate it like that. Click click draft and let's do the plane, the fixed plane or the face. So for the fixed plane all you have to do is pretty much pick a face on the part. So let's click this face here. And if we rotate it, you'll see that it's pointing straight up. So whichever face we pick now to draft, it's going to be following the direction going up. So let's choose this face here on the side. Choose this face here. And when we go to draft it, it's going to go, it's going to do a corner here. So if you see like the little preview here with the red arrow, it's going to draft out how much we want that way going straight up. So for this one, let's do 45. Click OK. And we've drafted it 45 degrees up. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the draft feature within Autodesk Inventor.